Hello Locarno, why do you never answer your phone? Anyway, it's Kevin, I have just sent my other girl in, car in 2.0. I broke the original car in last night. Anyway, car in 2.0 is currently at the commentary booth and has assigned high octane a faster car, as planned. Now she will go complain to Mark Taylor's manager, for not letting Norm and Vern Racing win. This week we will get our money back, you watch. Oh no, I left the text-to-speech on again, didn't I? Oh well. Okay bye bye. Oh no, he is coming, where do I hide her? I'm under the desk I guess. That's weird, Mike has been turned on. Must have been Tom. Alright, and we are going on in five, four, three. Is it a fantasy tournament or is it an insane tournament? Hi everyone, I'm Matthew Harding. And tonight we have the Battle of the Fantasy Fantasies. I can't speak as usual. Round one part two. But half the entrants tonight are the carryover cars from last year's Nissan tournament. Hopefully the uproar over the legality of Jojo's car has finally gone away. Let's not have that problem again. I do not want my house egged again. Tonight's featured driver is Victor Steele and he is definitely not in an illegal car. He's in the D, D, that car. The loss. Something. Anyway, I, why is High Octane in a yellow car? That's not right he's got an orange car what is going on here he's starting from the front alongside sir dragon this is weird I'm not allowed to do that you have to start he qualified in the orange car and he's leading but oh no my house is going to be egged again isn't it well he's won the race followed by jojo and madness motorsports controversially have taken a big lead already, 11 to half a point. Akito Tanaka stuck on the side wall. Tanaka is now on the front alongside Jojo. Come on, Tanaka and Sir Dragon. I, I, I still can't get the smell of egg out of my house. Jojo's off. Tanaka leads, followed by the two. Oh, that was a close finish, wasn't it? And Jojo's in the garage, which is being used as a wrecker. She's upside down. She, well, maybe she's broken her car. Maybe she's decided that her car was illegal after all, after all, and she's hiding it. But look at this finish. Tanaka and, well, High Octane getting a bit loose there. So did Sir Dragon, actually. Tanaka, I think he did hold on to the win here, didn't he? Yes, he did. But we will go to lap three now. Jojo and Akito Tanaka on the front. And it's going to be blurry. It's a great car. It's Jojo. Jojo's still in the lead. She nearly comes off the track. Well, her car hasn't broken down because she's just won the race. And Akito Tanaka will crawl to the finish too. There is high octane. Well, that's what you get when you enter an illegal car, high octane. High Octane alongside Sir Dragon for the last lap. Slow start from the Keto Tanaka. It's going to be more blurriness. It's Sir Dragon. And he's off! Oh, High Octane's going to win. And that means Madness Motorsport are going to go through. So, yep. Yeah. I better get the cleaner ready. What is Jojo doing on top of that Porsche? And Sir Dragon, he's celebrating Kitten's birthday. Oh, look at that, he just completely wipes out and does some somersaults over the edge of the cliff. Now we look at Puffs Racing versus Le Mans Karting, and well, everyone's new. So, not much to say about this, is it? Is it? No battery. What? I'm hearing voices again. Maybe it was Tom. Anyway, uh, uh, Avocado Mikado, the brilliantly named um, driver, is leading, followed by Puff. Puff gives them a push. And, well, we could, we could call that the Puff push, can't we? I like the sounds of that. Um, Misty G's rolled off the track. And Dangerous Dave 
has stopped to see if she's okay. No danger for him. He, well, he do, well, he doesn't like when he, if someone else is in danger. But look at this. Well, Puff tried to tr tried to pass down the inside. Maybe there was a Puff pass or an attempted pass. Maybe a maybe a pass that doesn't come off is a Puff pass. Avocado Mikado held on though for the win. Now it is Puff and Dangerous Dave on the front. And it's going to be Dangerous Dave. Good start from Dave. Puff's trying to catch up though. And he's trying to go around on oh, another Puff pass. Doesn't come off. Well, if a Puff pass is a pass that doesn't come off, then I didn't need to say that, didn't I? did I? I could have just said, well, that was a Puff pass. And he's on his roof and that's all over for Puff's racing. Look at this from Puff though. Tries to go around the outside because he tried to go down the inside of Avocado Mikado and that didn't work out. So he tried the outside of Dangerous Dave and that didn't work out either. So we will move to the Duck Cup. Tuvalu versus New Zealand. Hometown heroes. New Zealand. Michael Hall and Spanners Watson. Very experienced drivers. 26 races between them. And it's I think this is going to be close. That points per race is very similar um, if you add up the drivers for their respective teams but it is Tima in the lead followed by uh, I think that's Michael Hall yes it is Michael Hall but Tima's gonna win oh he slides over the line and Michael Hall comes in second out now Spanners Watson is on is on top of a car and there is Musica next to him and yeah, look at this finish from Tima, sliding all the way, whoa, he's nearly, um, not vertical, sideways over the line. Vertical, makes no sense. Very low battery, please charge immediately. There's that voice again. Tom, get out, I'm trying to commentate. Jeez, uh, what's happening here? Michael Hall's winning, and yeah, Michael Hall will win. So lap two goes to New Zealand. And it is 11 and a half to 8. So New Zealand have to let... Spanish Watson is now on top of a police car. What is going on with cars climbing on top of other cars? And, well, that was a sensational muck-up from both the Tuvalu drivers there. Musica flips over and Tima tries to avoid him by driving off the track. Well, probably not the best way to avoid your teammate. Spanners Watson leads lap three from Musica and Tima. And Spanners Watson, is he going to keep on the track? Yes, he will. Oh, close for second. It was Musica, though. Third was Tima, and fourth was Michael Hall. This is this is getting very close. Michael Hall will lead lap four from Tima and Spanners Watson. Tima tries to go around the outside. Doesn't work, so Spanners Watson gets Tima. And now Michael Hall flips over, and Spanners Watson wins the race. And that means that the Duck Cup goes to New Zealand. There's Michael Hall. He's celebrating. He, it's still in his car. 27.5 points to 22. New Zealand take the Duck Cup. Look at that. Tima tried to go around the outside. Didn't quite come off. So Spanners Watson ducked down the inside and... Well, he almost got his teammate too. He almost wiped out his teammate. Which, well, Michael Hall wiped out himself in the end. In the re turn. And Tima pushes him off the track. But it doesn't matter. New Zealand will take the cup off of Tuvalu. Well done, New Zealand. Hometown heroes do it for their hometown. That was a bit of a fail. The rankings. Well, okay. Right, we're moving on to the next slide. I was too slow there. And experience again. Look at this. Raging Buffalo and Silver Fox. Angron has had 19 starts. Insane G, 20. Jerry Gavry Milan, 10. And Mad Carthos, 9. So much experience in this one. All Nissans. This is the All Nissan race. And it is going to be Angron Rage Fist. Now remember, Angron Rage Fist and Mad Carthos are having a bit of a dispute over the position in the Australian team. Mad Carthos has taken over. Extremely, extremely low battery shut down. shut down is imminent no that can't be tom unless he's had a six change extremely low battery what is going on maybe my phone needs charging yeah maybe that's it maybe i've got some kind of new app on there like siri or alexa 
Wow, okay. I didn't even know I had that on my phone. Anyway, lap two, Matt Carthos leads. He's got a good lead over in St. G. And, oh, there's been an accident caused by Matt Carthos. And St. G's come off the track. And Jaron Gavrin Malone will come in second. But that's going to be the end of Silver Fox Racing. Only one and a half points to eight. It's a low scoring uh, race, that one. But well, look at this. Matt Carthos slides out, and St. G's trying to slam on the brakes, and he slides out. And then in the end, his little brother pushes him off the track, and Angron Ragefist gets stuck on the re U turn. But that was all caused by Matt Carthos. That was a mad move indeed. Wow. I'm not sure Australia will want that kind of behaviour on their team. Now, the last race of the night, Vulcan Raceway versus Tiger Shark Racing. And lots of experience from Flying Femin and Victor Steele, but none from Mainline Mark and EJ Marcello. Two new drivers there on debut. Flying Fenman and EJ Marcello in on the front. It's going to be the Flying Fenman. Yes, he's well, he's well out in front. Oh, he nearly comes off the track. Mainline Mark, I think, helped him out there. Mainline Mark comes in second. And we've got an accident over. And again, another car on top of another one. This time it's EJ Marcello. And there is Victor Steele. And yeah, look at that. Whoa! Flying Fenman nearly goes flying off the track. And yes, he did get a push from Mainline Mark. So thank you, Mainline Mark, says the Flying Fenman. And in the background, the other two drivers are having a moment going into the re U turn. Oh dear. Battery empty. Shutting down. What? Thank you for using life like dolls. Okay, now I am officially creeped out. Life like dolls. Um, oh, who won that race? Well, it was Vulcan Raceway. One and two there. Victor Steele and, well, Victor Steele was on the lead. He was going reverse and then he spins it around. And what looked like they were going to have a formation finish here, but something went wrong at the end. Look at that Flying Femin keeping up with his teammate. And what happens here? Oh, Flying Femin just gives them a bit of a touch and nearly makes them spin out. Who won that? I want to say Victor Steele. Oh, we're going back a long way. I f have a funny feeling Victor Steele just held on to it. Let's see. It's, oh, just, I think. Yeah, the judges have given it to Victor Steele. Well done, Victor Steele. And that moves Vulcan Raceway through to the next round. So, I've been Matthew Harding. Um, the, a voice in here has been someone else. I... I'm going to go try and work out where that voice is coming from. Who's doing that voice? And I'll probably tell Tom off for it. Until the next video, take care and bye for